right, it's time for another experiment. Um, weekends, it's a great time to do that. So we've seen a lot of people do these and we wanted to try them. We are doing, today we are doing eggs. Now we have chickens, so recently we've had a plethora of extra eggs. So rather than have them taking up room in our fridge, we are gonna freeze dry them. The cool thing about freeze-dried eggs, and we have done scrambled eggs in the past, those turned out great, they were pre-cooked. These are not pre-cooked, so I wanted to have all five trays of the same just because it's it's raw, right? So I don't know, I don't know if that will really make a difference, but better safe than sorry. Um, so what we did is we just cracked and then just kind of scrambled with a fork, not cooked, but mixed up with a fork. We have two and a half dozen eggs per tray. Now, we pre-froze them. So this is what they look like. They are pre-frozen. That, and all five trays are the same. Oh, and I wanted to show you this one. I can't get the tray divider off. Apparently our fridge that we froze them in is slightly off level. And so this side was deeper and I cannot pop this sucker out. So I'm gonna just process it with it. Let's hope it's okay. We'll find out. I think it should be fine, but. We have that one. So we got all five trays are the same. They're just, like I said, raw eggs cracked open and then put in, uh, we just mix them up with a fork and then put them on trays and froze them. Everybody I've seen that have done has freeze dried eggs. If you don't pre-freeze them, they explode and make a big old mess inside your freeze dryer. So we made sure to freeze them. They've actually been frozen for a couple of days. So they're pretty, they're pretty frozen. And I've got my machine down to temperature. So remember, if you're freeze drying anything that is already frozen, like the eggs, you wanna start your machine at least 30 minutes before you're ready. So just hit the start button and then it'll come up with this screen, pre-frozen, not frozen. Don't worry about hitting anything on there yet. Just let it come down, bring the temperature down, close it. Um, in the winter and fall, or let's see, no, sorry, we got this in the spring. In the colder months, it only took about 15 to maybe 20 minutes tops, and the temperature here would be below 32 degrees. Today, it took almost an hour, probably about 40 minutes to get it below freezing. But it's also summertime right now, so it's it's plenty warm outside, and it, it is morning time right now, so it's not as hot as it will be during the day, but it's gonna take it a little longer to get cold. So. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and say pre-frozen. The food's loaded in, I've closed the drain valve. I love that it reminds you. And hit continue. We're good to go, it's that easy. So I'm hoping the eggs will probably only take about 24 hours. I'm thinking, I, I have noticed with the warmer temperatures outside, our freeze dryer batches are taking a little bit longer to process. So we'll keep an eye on it and um, See how it is. All right, it is summertime. I just wanted to show you this. High room temperature, batch processing times may be longer. So that's one thing I love about these is they're pretty smart. They update you, they give you information. But these are our freeze-dried eggs in there right now, which I expected would take a little a little longer. So yeah, we're at 26 hours. I'm guessing it'll probably be about 36 to 40 something. But um, we'll keep checking. All right, look at that. Okay, now I added eight extra hours just because I had to work today and I was gonna be gone away from home, so I didn't want it to finish when I was done. So last 30 seconds, we'll let it finish and check out the eggs. See how they did. All right, we got the drain valve opening. Let's see how our eggs did. They didn't explode, so there's that. Super grateful for that, because some people had their eggs explode. Oh, they're nice and dry. Oh, it's almost spongy, which they'll go into like a powder. You can kind of see it. I just mostly want to make sure there's no frozen bits. It looks pretty, can you hear it? hear the crunch 
I think they're good. I think we're good. And they all should be the same. Now these are not cooked. So these are raw eggs. So once we powder them, we can put them in about anything we want. All right, let's get them up and bag them out. Get them out and bag them up. Today I'm gonna to show you how to, or what to do with freeze dried eggs. Now these ones that we did were raw eggs. And so you wanna keep that in mind. There's some good benefits to that, being that they are just raw eggs. You can add freeze dried, they, they go into a powder, which you'll see here in a second when I open them. Um, you can use these in baking, in cooking. I'll show you today, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs really quick with them, because that's an easy, quick demonstration. But you could add these to um, cakes, to cookies, to whatever, and it's, the ratio, I believe, I, I wanna say it's like two tablespoons of this to two tablespoons of water is equal to one egg. If I remember right, I'll have to look it up. But um, I usually just eyeball everything anyway, so I, I'm, I'm a cook that way. But um, now if you buy freeze-dried eggs, if it says freeze-dried eggs, chances are it, it's gonna be like this. They're gonna be raw eggs. Now. If you buy freeze-dried scrambled eggs, they're probably gonna be pre-cooked, scrambled, and look like a scrambled egg. Now, freeze-dried, you can eat those um, without rehydrating them. They're actually a pretty good little snack. It's just like a crunchy, healthy little protein snack. Um, but we're gonna show you with these. These are the raw ones. So, I did Silly's. I, I had a sample one, but I can't find it sample size so we're gonna have to open them because they are sealed and I'll show you how they turn out so we have our little oxygen absorber which is now no good because we've opened the package but look at that see how it's just a powder right there I mean these are this is raw eggs it's so cool it was a mess to put in the containers but um, that's just kind of they kind of look little crystallized kind of but that's all it is now this is probably about two cups worth of the freeze dried powder. So we'll see how many eggs that makes up to. Um, I think I'll do, I think I may as well go ahead and do the whole package just for the demonstration. So we'll do that. So let me turn the camera and I'll show you how we're gonna turn these into scrambled eggs really quick and easy. All right. Actually, I don't know if we can fit all that, so I'm just gonna do about half of the pouch. And this has the zipper, so I can go ahead and zip it closed. We'll save that for a quick and easy breakfast another day. So, I mean, you can see. So we're just gonna add some water. The good thing about the eggs is if we add too much water, I am gonna scramble them and cook them. So for this, for this use, and so they will, um, the extra water will just cook out. But let's go ahead and get that. We'll get that and leave it to just set up for a minute. Okay, and while that's setting up, of chunks maybe that haven't fully absorbed all the water but I mean that looks like that looks like your eggs so let's go ahead and put them in here and turn our heat up a little bit and we're just gonna cook them like normal eggs Salt. Looks like 
there. Cooking them, you know, and it has the same smell. It smells just like eggs. Pretty easy cheesy. I think this would be awesome with some toast and our homemade peach jam. It's gonna be a good little breakfast. Remember, eggs continue to cook even after you remove them from the heat. So if you're waiting on something like toast or something like that, it's you don't necessarily have to have your eggs completely cooked because they will continue to cook as they sit. So at this point, this is looking almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and get some toast going. And there you have it, scrambled eggs and some toast with my homemade peach mango jam. Perfect breakfast, super easy. So put a little salsa on top of those eggs. Let's see how they taste. Mm. Okay, that's good. Just good fresh cooked eggs. If you want the recipe for the peach mango jam, you can find it on my blog at what88.com. Thanks for watching. Can I try a bite? Yeah, you can try a bite. Do you want the bread or the eggs? Yeah. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Heaven. But the, these are really awesome. If there is an egg shortage, Jordan.